Hello friends, my name is Dr. Adhir Singh and today I am going to discuss a very important topic that is how to follow your passion. Friends, most of us feel trapped in, our, in the rat race of life and this happened from the beginning itself. When we are in class 11th, 12th, then we are told that you should go for engineering or you should go to become a doctor and then we blindly follow the rat race, we become doctor or we get into uh, engineering profession and thereafter you know people say you go for management, go for uh, civil services and things like that or join a job and then what happens that we just keep following the rat race and in that situation once you get into these uh, professions or get into these jobs we sometimes feel that the, we don't like actually to become an engineer, we don't like to become a doctor and we don't like to become a civil servant or a management guy. Our passion lies somewhere else. We want to become a writer, we want to become a painter, we want to become a photographer, we want to become a star, a film star or a cricket star and then we start wondering whether we are doing the right thing or not. And then when you listen to the interviews and the news of the top people, then you find that the, they will be telling you that you should follow your passion. So when you meet a politician, you meet a top businessman or a top star, they will tell you that I have here or I am here because I have followed my passion and they will advise you that you should all follow your passion. So whether we should follow the passion and when should we follow the passion that is the question. So today we are going to discuss uh, this uh, very important issue. So first friends, first you must know that when you are going to follow passion like writing or you want to become a star then you must understand the success and the failure ratio of that. This is a very very important point to notice because what happens that when you are a writer for example, you know only uh, maybe a, a dozen writers who are successful but you will be surprised to know that almost a million books are written every year and hardly one in a thousand books get actually success. And so you hear the stories of those writers who are actually successful and not those 999 uh, writers who are not successful and this is valid everywhere. If you see the film star for example only one in a thousand film stars succeeds. Similarly, if you go into the civil services, only one in five thousand person gets success. So that is the important point you should know that how to assess whether you should go for there for uh, and follow the passion or not. And you know passion also uh, it is wrong to uh, say that you have a fixed passion. You see uh, when we are young then we get attracted toward everything which is attractive. So sometimes you want uh, you see a politician and you want to become a uh, um, a politician because he, uh, a small uh, person or a person who is from the modest background has become the prime minister or the president. So you think that you too can uh, become like that. Similarly, when you see a cricket star, you want to become a cricket star. Similarly, a film star, you want to become a film star. And so you have so many passions around you. So your passion keep on changing and you want to become basically, you want to have everything of everything. That is the problem. So first of all, I must tell you that whenever you are talking about the passion, you must understand that everybody does not succeed in passion and 99% people don't get success into a particular profession. So the important thing is that you should identify your passion and you should identify your ability. So when we are talking about the success, the success depends upon two important points. The first point is that what is your inherent talents and the second point is how much hard work you are put in. So if you don't have the talent and you only put the hard work, you are not going to succeed. In the same way, if you have a lot of talents but you don't put uh, hard work also, you are not going to succeed. So the question is that you should have both hard work and the talent. So I just want to narrate you a story of a recent movie, Secret Superstar. And Amir Khan has made this movie. And so in this particular movie, you know, uh, there was a girl who is having an immense uh, talent for singing, an immense passion for uh, singing and uh, the parents uh, did not allow that and so ultimately what she does is that she put up that video on the YouTube channel and that video was uh, become very successful and she become a superstar. So that is the theme on which this movie is made and so when you watch this type of movie you feel that you know I too can follow this passion and then I can become successful like her. But you forget one thing that she is having a tremendous voice, she is having not only a tremendous singer but she composed the songs also and she has written the song also. So how many of us actually have the ability to write a beautiful song, compose the song and then sing the song also and unless you have these abilities combined in you, perhaps you cannot follow that person. So in the same way when you want to become a writer, you must see whether you have a great writing ability or not or you become an actor then you should have that 
acting ability or not. So unless you have those acting abilities, you will not succeed. On the converse, you know, suppose you are having those talents and abilities in you, then it does not matter much whether you have that talent, whether you are actually having the passion for it. So there was another movie which was made, that is movie, the name of the movie was Dangal. In this movie, there were two girls who become a top level wrestler in the world fame label and they won different trophies and different awards uh, for wrestling. Now those girls did not have any passion and the father of the girl actually forced her to undergo the training against their wishes. And despite of that, it was gradually, you know, they developed passion and then they, uh, when the passion and the talent, then they combined together and then ultimately see won the success in that field. So this is how the world, you have to have talent as well as you have to have hard work and when the, these two things combine, then only you can succeed. So what I will advise you that before going for, you know, um, uh, the job which you are very passionate about, you must find out whether you have the ability to do that job or not. Now, how do we know that whether we have this ability or to know that or not? Now, that is a very complex field because unless you do the job, unless people read it, they will not be knowing whether you are a great writer or not. So, people generally do two things at a time. For example, Chetan Bhagat and the Mistra Party, both top writers of India, they continue to work for several years in the corporate world as an investment banker. And simultaneously, they were doing writing. And then once they become sure that they have a good writing ability and they become successful, then they left their job and they have started following the passion. In the same way, like I was in Indian Revenue Service and I was writing. And so once I realized that I can write perhaps uh, uh, good uh, articles and I write well, then I left the job and I, I, I am now focusing full time on writing. So this is what you should do. You have to first you test your passion. And once you know that you have talent and ability on that, then you must leave your existing jobs and go for passion. So I hope that if you follow this thing, then you will be able to understand that, that you have to combine hard work with uh, abilities and then only you can be successful in your life. Thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like my video, please give your comments, share your views. Thank you very much.